hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're starting firewatch i've been talking about me wanting to play firewatch for so long i've heard extremely good things about it i'm gonna be honest i know nothing about it whenever i usually play like a game on sh uh, for youtube i don't really look into it i don't really look into anything i just like kind of just grab what other people recommended to me let's just get right into it Colorado 1975 damn You see Julia. Oh, I did click it. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your major? You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxic Toxicology? Oof. What's that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Oh. Damn. That was kind of, that's kind of funny interaction, though. Okay, the sensitivity is, like, quite high. Getting into the truck. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a few with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julie wants to get a duck. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while she's walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and you name and name him Mayhem. Okay, the beagle Bucket beagle is kind of cute. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgot. Wait. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgot about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Aww. Is this gonna make me cry? I think it will. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. Uh, 9.30pm. The heat still radi off, radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have a couple, have some. A couple little idiots. That'd be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best for their parents if they're, that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Oh, so they get married. This is going to make me cry, I think. Oh, are we going to go propose right now? What the plan here? Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She's on call. You're worried. It's getting and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having fun time. You fight. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She said it was great. You hauled into any hill of resentment you make some coffee and go to work <laughs> no 1981 julia still likes to draw she draws plants for her research she, she draws all the places you go she draws you you frolic like a victoria's senior model very nice so or did we get married did we get engaged what's the what's the plan I feel like this is like a slow burning relationship. Y'all been together for like five, six years, still get married, still don't have kids. Two forks, uh oh. I 
It's pretty though. I will say that. 1982. During the summer. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. It's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets sick. Baba, -ba, fuck the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in? Yeah, we're doing that. <clears throat> your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Oh, I was like, huh? <laughs> but it's just like a different walking path. From then on, you walk by the river. Fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. If you get beat up, then like, yeah. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. 1984. This is like 10 years later. Julie gets offered at a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. If she can commute back and forth, that's 2,000 miles away. She can't commute that far convince her not to take the job i wouldn't if that's like a dream job offer i would i would move I, I would genuinely move i don't know you ask if she'd commute back and forth you don't want to move to connecticut but she says that'll be hard but if she'll do it she'll do it if you won't move you tell her not to pass it up if she that's what she wants yeah honestly she agrees she flies back to boulder three times each semester oh this is hard 1985 julia sent home from yale on a paid leave after having an episode uh oh she lost it on a colleague from borrowing books that were important to her research she didn't remember she happily loaned them to him to just two days prior Chief was found crying in the stairwell. You said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and forget about it. We're gonna do that one. It works. <laughs> you watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. What the fuck? Journal? Whole... Okay, I'm gonna have to cut that out. That was a drawing of a whole... junk out. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that's kind of nice because he gets less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Fuck. As soon as you get the Julia who calls you a dope, and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you in a bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are a crush and begin making trips to visit from their home in Australia to visit her. For a little while, your friends come by with little things that to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Oh, shit. Decided to move her into a full-time care facility, you're determined to take care of her by yourself. That's a really tough, tough decision. Okay, um, you know what we'll do? We'll do this one. That's what we'll do. Determine. We'll do that one. I don't know if it's the right choice, but we'll do it. Is that deer? Hi, deer. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. She can't do anything without you. This is breaking my heart. I'm gonna cry. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then do. Uh oh. 
You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you're worried about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You've locked... Then that's like you locking in a room. You trust her that she sleeps like a rock. Oh, fuck. If you trust that she sleeps like a rock, then I feel like she's gonna do something. But like, locking her in her room is not ideal either. You should just don't go out. Maybe we should have put her in a home. Something's gonna go wrong. You go over to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1am. A couple nights a week, you look forward to those nights. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consist you consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming and live with them. You don't argue. You'll say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Enter the lookout tower. It's like a red light. What the heck? Okay. Oh. I'm a little scared. I think this game is going to actually make me cry. I know nothing about it. And I didn't know if it was emotional or not. On the power. Okay. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. The fuck's the radio? Oh. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Left shift to activate the radio. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with- Is there- yeah, subtitles. Preferably. You. Excuse me? Uh People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? Oh. What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. <laughs> You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. <laughs> you can't... Okay. Uh, you've... <laughs> killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. <laughs> Ooh, good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Fair enough. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. All right, let's go. This has already been emotional, and I'm just like, Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Mm -hmm. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Damn. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. 
There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? What? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know what's west. Do you see them? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that right. really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right. Sure. Uh, like, kick, kick the shit out of them, sort of straight? <laughs> Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. All right. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Oh. Aww. Oh, my bad. I was picking up stuff. A pine cone. Um. Do I leave? Alright, let's uh, go. Can I, like, walk? Oh. Alright, time to go find these little shits with fireworks, I guess. Yep, yeah, that brought me so far. M to read my map. Huh? So I'm there. Uh, fine box in 306. So that's there. Um. This, I'm really bad with, like, directions. I do just want to say, so it might take me a second to, like, figure out where the fuck I'm going. I think I'm going the right way. Let's find out. Is there any way to walk faster than <laughs> to like run? Um, is this an, an owl house? I love that. Can I use it? A baseball. Wait, can I like. Nice. <laughs> That's it. Game's over. I put the baseball in the toilet. I'm hearing sounds. Like a clink clunk sound. Or maybe it's just like his feet. Um, I believe the lock code is like one, two, three, four or something. There we go. More pine cone. Granola bar. Can I eat it? Nom nom nom. Alright, let's go deal with the fireworks. Oh, that... Those sounds are, um... The fireworks. Do I just have to like go to them? Because oh, I'm like I'm hearing like a clink clonk, but those are the sounds of the fireworks. I didn't realize. Oh R, there you go. Figured out how to run faster. R it took a while because it's not shift. Usually like games, it's it's shift. Okay, 
I'm getting closer to it. That kind of scares me. Rappel, let's go. Well, I mean, that wasn't a far drop. Just, just a wee bit. Oh, did it break your... your radio? Report climbing incident? How do I do that? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. Mm, no. Don't make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Oh, there's another one here. Do I do it again? Okay, I just examined it. Interesting. Uh... Where am I going, though? <laughs> I don't hear the fireworks anymore. Which kind of sucks. Oh, well. There's something here. Oh. I left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Yeah, just, just save that for later, you know? Beer can. Oh, found the fireworks. Just kind of cleaning their shit, I guess. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, mm -hmm. too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Fair enough. There's some clothes over here, too. They're probably in the lake. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. <laughs> I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Can I examine it? Oh! Oh, wow. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> There's music. Oh, another bra. Oh, there's two girls. There's a. Uh, yes. <laughs> there are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. Two. <laughs> I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Oh my oh, God. Please. Oh no. <laughs> I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? <laughs> Sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country. And we should be free because we have fun. 
So true. Well, um, can go this way. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Um, I hope they drown. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Yeah. Hopefully we're going the right way. I don't know. Um, that was kind of funny. Where the fuck am I? Okay, I think I'm making it. It's it's kind of a long walk, but I think we'll make it. What's up? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. You're fine. It's not big deal. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Sounds good. -a. I'm guessing we're gonna fall in love with her. You know, things are gonna happen. He's gonna be the happiest he's ever been. That type of stuff. You know. I see it coming. Oh, great. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Great. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, she's flirting. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. <laughs> Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current <laughs> conversation? <laughs> Oh my god, lady. The the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? There you go. Oh, Henry, that's a good one. Be satisfied? Yep. Yes. <laughs> that's cute. It's kind of cute. I think these are all 1 2 3 4, right? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, can I... Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Oh, I didn't even map... update the map last time. Uh, cave. What's in this cave down there? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Mm -hmm. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Fair enough. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, uh another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> Hello? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. 
Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Maybe. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Hank. Okay, well, we're leaving. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I will admit. Um, where are we going? Oh, we're close. We're close to the lookout. We're getting there. I do believe. Uh, there's a figure. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Ew. Maybe he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Fair enough. All right, we're back to the tower. The fuck? The music? All right, okay. Did someone like rob me? Report vandalism. Oh no. Hello. Someone broke in. They Fuck. what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. God damn it. The place is trashed. My fucking sheets are gone. You stole your sheets? That's just mean. That is just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Fuck the pine cone. Get out of here. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Yeah. Do you have any idea who would have done this? No. The girls at the lake. No. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Okay. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Alright. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I'll try. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? Mm hmm I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Mm -hmm.